بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عن ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما قال فرض رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم زكاة الفطر طهرة للصائم من اللغو والرفث وطعمة للمساكين من أداها قبل الصلاة فهي زكاة مقبولة ومن أداها بعد الصلاة فهي صدقة من الصدقات ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما نريد استاد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم mandated Zakat al-Fitr. He mandated Zakat al-Fitr. Tuhratan lil-sa'im. As a purification for the one who fasts. Min al-lagwi wa rafath Purification from any type of false speech. Any type of inappropriate speech. Wa tu'matan lil-masakeen. And as a means of feeding the poor. Feeding the poor. Man addaha qabla salah Whoever pays this Zakat al-Fitr before the salah. فهي زكاة مقبولة. Then this is an accepted zakat. ومن أداها بعد الصلاة. If you pay it after, فهي صدقة من الصدقات. Then it is a صدقة from the many different types of صدقات. Charity from the many different types of charities. So this is something that is mandatory on everyone to pay the zakat al fitr. It's obligatory on the household. Everybody in the household must pay it. The head of the household will pay. On behalf of everyone in the family, as long as you have enough wealth to cover your Eid, you have excess wealth to cover your day of Eid, then you have to pay the zakat al fitr for yourself and whoever you are obliged to spend on. And this zakat al fitr has two benefits: benefit for you and a benefit for the poor people. Benefit for you in that when we fast, nobody's fasting is perfect. We all have mistakes that we might make uh, when we are fasting. And this is a purification for our fast. Purification for our fast. There are things that's, that spoil the fast, that nullify the fast. If you do them, you have to make up your fast. If you eat intentionally, if you drink intentionally, if you do anything of the things that nullify the fast, your fast is broken, you have to make it up afterwards. There's, right, these are called mubtilatus so. These uh, you have to make up after. And then there's, there are things that they don't break your fast, they don't nullify your fast. But they take away from your reward. They take away from your reward. So instead of having 100% of the reward, you might go down to 90%, to 80%, to 50%, 20%, and even lower. These are muhbitat as These are things that spoil the reward of your fast. And these, uh, the paying of the zakat al fitr, it helps to recover some of those rewards that you lose uh, during your fast because of things like, was mentioned in the hadith here, lagu. And and a uh, rafath, which is false speech or inappropriate speech, right? We see all the time people are coming. Uh, Imam a few times in the, in the month. I've spoken to the people right before the iftar. People are talking. When you start to talk, what's going to happen? You're going to end up saying things that you shouldn't be saying, and you end up losing and diminishing your reward for fasting. So things uh, of this nature, a person might do intentionally, unintentionally. The zakat al fitr purifies your fast. Purifies your fast. Uh, and makes, uh, makes your reward, ma ma maintains your reward uh, fully, insha'Allah. And then it is also uh, a means of enriching the poor on the day of Eid so that they can enjoy the day of Eid just like you enjoy the day of Eid. Everyone has the right to enjoy the day of Eid. This is a daily celebration for every single Muslim. Uh, so everyone has that right to enjoy the day of Eid. And so the poor, those who are not able to maybe afford uh, a nice meal or afford, afford to uh, enjoy themselves on the day of Eid, they can also enjoy the day of Eid. So the Zakat al-Fitr has these two uh, benefits for yourself and for the poor on the day of Eid. Uh, it must be paid before the Salah or at least before the sun sets on the day of Eid. This is the, 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 the absolute latest it should be paid before the sun sets on the day of Eid. And the hadith, the, the Zahir of the hadith indicates that if you paid after sunset of Maghrib or after the Salah, it seems to indicate that it won't count. However, the scholars have mentioned it counts. However, it is considered qada. It is considered makeup. It's not on time. So even if you miss it, even if you did not pay the Zakat al-Fitr and the day of Eid has passed, you still have to pay it. You still have to pay it and it will be counted as a makeup. It will mean, it not be counted as done on time. But you still have to pay it. It is an obligation on everyone to pay the Zakat al-Fitr. And the best is to pay it before the salah. The masjid has been collecting. If you have not paid it 
uh, already, make sure to pay it. If you can give it to somebody you know who, who deserves it, who is poor, then that is better. If you can give it in grains, that is even better. And if you are unable to give it in grains and give the, give the cash, then that's also uh, allowed according to a scholarly opinion. Uh, but this is something that is very important, it is an obligation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only or ordered us, or uh, mandates us to spend in charity with two, two, in two, two ways, the zakatul fitr and our zakatul mal, the, the regular zakat. And both of these obligatory charities, it's purification for us. The zakatul fitr purifies our fasting, and the zakatul mal, the regular zakat, it purifies our wealth. When you work, you might be working in a job, might not be 100% halal, might have some things that are uh, not quite sharia compliant. The zakat purifies your wealth, so it benefits you. And the zakat al-fitr purifies your fast, so it benefits you. So these are two uh, mandated charities that we must give, and it also benefits us as well. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our fasting, and our salah, and our qiyam, and our dua, and all our good acts in this month. And we ask Him to forgive us, have mercy on us, mercy on us and allow us to reach the end of Ramadan, and, uh, and continue on beyond that, and continue with istiqamah afterwards. اللهم أمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد والحمد لله رب العالمين